So, let's talk a little bit more and see if you tend to agree or disagree. I want to give you a, a YouTuber. I'd have to take, man, I ain't taking my hat off. But this, 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 this is this is him. The weight of the world rests on his shoulders. He does this comprehensive, fine, you know, uh, uh, analysts, and uh, with. Uh, <laughs> with the wonderful uh, uh, empirical evidence and <laughs> such. Uh, let's put all that bullshit aside. Russia, China, it doesn't matter who, okay? Man, I just lit that and it wants to go out that fast. Man, that's terrible. That's what you get for screwing around. <laughs> ah, my lighter. I don't know where I'll put it. I put it somewhere. Anyhow, enough of the dribble here. I know you're. I know you're sitting on the edge of your chair right now, going, "Oh my God!" But you know, ah, uh, trying to. Russia doesn't matter who you know they, they, they want to start sending nukes over here or this or that crap you know the, the, all their economies are gone ours is too why well look we hold the world reserve currency right China and Russia all of them put together can't can't do what we've done they'll just fold up we'll fold up the whole world economy will fold up and uh, that's it. Pretty much, that's it. How you recover from that? Well, you don't worry so much about what this guy and that guy and that guy's doing. You try to take care of your own country, but you got the riots going on in your own country. So it's not, you're not worrying about all these other places in the world. You screwed the pooch, man. So, with that said, world reserve currency. The whole world will have to go through a, a, a huge, 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 basically just self-destruction if the dollar crashes. Now, if the dollar crashes, usually it's going to be, then they're setting you up for it, it'll be a financial attack on the grid, you know, the, the banking grid. It'll be a... a, a uh, attack on the on the power grid. Uh, somebody will nuke us. Uh, maybe Yellowstone will explode and you know that'll take care of it. You know then then China and Russia and all them are gonna have big huge problems. They're gonna have to rush out and try to get everything under control and get a new currency established and keep the populations under somewhat. You know, assurances that yeah, you're going to eat, you're going to have luxury, everything's going to be okay. Because if not, these people just go out and destroy their countries. They don't have the military. China's been the only one that's been smart, kind of stayed out of everything and saving their uh, resources. The rest of them, nah, they're just pissing them away. And that's China's strategy, is let their bills piss their resources away and they're the only ones that have any. They think it'll be a cakewalk. It won't be. China has never been on the right side of anything, I believe. I mean, they're about, they think they're pretty sharp. They think they're pretty intelligent. And, I, and I'm not saying they're not. In, in some areas, they are. But that ain't one of them. I mean, you know, you want to hear all this great, wonderful stuff out of Russia. I mean, with an economy of one and a half trillion dollars. And maybe 150 million people, and that's a big, big, big ass uh, territory to move stuff from here to here to here, and, and adverse conditions and a whole bunch of other stuff. And they're going to do that with that one and a half trillion dollar and 150 million people. That's an uphill battle on that. That that alone, 
keeping uh, up with tanks and ammunition and a whole bunch of stuff. Now, they'll tell you, boy, we're doing it and this and that. Well, of course they're going to tell you that. They're not going to say, well, we're stretched in and we're screwed. They're not going to tell you that. China doesn't want to get into it because, well, they want to save the resources, but they also know their most important resource is what? Oh, that's right, those fighting men of that age that are going to have to take over the manufacturing and the growth of the country and everything else. Well, when you go into battle and you lose, start losing a bunch of them, things ain't good. Things ain't good for them now. They're going to get worse. So something up that has to happen to us because we're not we're not the harlot. It already tells tells you in the Bible what happens to the harlot. She's destroyed. Everybody throws ashes overhead. So these people are something's gonna happen, okay? And they're all gonna stand there going, Oh my god, and they're gonna be like, What the hell just what's going on? I mean, you know, this is bad and then, and then you know, IMF, World Bank, whoever, you know, is gonna come out with their big plan and uh, don't worry about it here. Everybody's saying, here's the currency. We'll, we'll, we'll back everything, you know, blah, blah, blah. So basically, that's what I'm getting at. The U.S. dollar has to crash for the rest of the world to become a superpower. And once ours crashes, well, we're done. Something has seriously, seriously happened. All your gold, all your silver, all your stock, all the bullshit they keep telling you. Push, 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 kill these, blah, blah, blah. You know what, people? That's what it is. It's bullshit. Because the fact of the matter is, is one day, oh God, you know, let's go to the moon. Oh my God, you know, all oh, gold went up uh, thirty dollars. Gold went up forty dollars. Gold went down thirty dollars. Gold went up. Oh my God, it's going just watch. Oh man, in in, in a month it's going to be you know three thousand. Uh, and by the end of the year it'll be three thousand. Uh, by 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 uh, uh, June it'll be three thousand. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of bullshit rhetoric going on there too. Same thing with silver. Anytime anything starts moving around, everybody's like, oh. And then, the, oh, hands over the face, got the weight of the world on them. Because, boy, they're going to give you the whew, rundown. You know the rundown means shit. You know that? Can he tell you what's going to happen? No. Can't tell you. Can he tell you what's going what's gonna to happen when it does happen? No. Can't tell you that either, can he? a lot of stuff you can't say and you don't know but you know it's coming all you really need to know is you got to be right with God and your reward is not here okay this is not your reward people your reward lies in heaven all right all the gold all the silver all the fiat currency all the grain all the natural resources and all the bullshit they want to do and this and that bundle it up use it with it's more of man's abomination that's what it is governments are an abomination to the to god you got to get right with god individually you have to get right with god individual say So just remember, at the end of the day, you got to take a mark to buy or sell. If you take that mark, you're, you, you're screwed, man. You don't take the mark, well, you're screwed here because, you know, they're just going to kill you, murder you, do whatever they want to you because you're you're a problem. You won't take the mark. You you won't you won't capitulate. You you're not going to you're not going to do what they want. You know, you're a thorn in there. So, you know, hey, man, so we just got to get rid of you. So, don't take the mark. They'll kill you. More than likely, you'll probably go to heaven. As you're serious. 
and you, and you, and you back God, you believe in God. So more than likely, you probably get there. And I'm, I'm not saying, you know, you will. I'm just saying more than likely you will, but it's going to be some of us ain't going to make it. And if you do take the mark, well, you're not making it. I mean, you're done. You're done. You, you, you chose your allegiance, and that's with Satan. So, this country has to be destroyed. How? They give you all kinds of scenarios because they're not sure themselves yet. Say. They're pulling all the stops up with this, that, you got to fear monger you. Look, it's like I keep saying, God's people aren't afraid. Meek does not mean weak. You're here for a purpose. You're here to be strong. You're here to stand up. You're here to glorify God and God's word. You're here to be charitable and help your fellow man. You're the light, man. You're the light. That's right. Have that lighthouse out in the end of that out there in the shoals and the shores and stuff, you know, keeping the ships come coming in and crashing on the on the rocks and the coral reefs and everything else getting hung up. That's right, that's you. You're that beacon out there. In the darkness. You're the only light that's keeping it safe. And you get that from God. You get that from God's grace. It ain't nothing to take lightly. I could ramble on and on and on. But you understand what I'm saying. Tell me if I'm wrong. Y'all take care.